Now then, for the first time in quite a while, we're going to do a vlog in a day. Coffee's ready, my love. Where are we? We're on uh, Love Life Triumph. We're on Narrowboat Love Life Triumph. Did you miss us? <laughs> Welcome. Before we start, as usual, thank you ever so much for all of the lovely comments from last week's vlog and the bikes and boats uh, Austria tour uh, link to the uh, next episode will be somewhere here. Or if you're on a smart TV, the link will be in the description. Right, what are we doing today, Mr. Bonneville? We're going for a little walk. It's all we can do at the moment, folks, with lockdown. So um, we're going to take you for a little walk. Um, it's not a bad day, is it? It's, it's not a bad day, no. It's, it's a bit chilly, so we're in it's exactly the same clothes again. Yeah. I've just stood here for a week since you last saw me in the same clothes. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> One thing that we have done, or I've done this week, first time since we've had the car. I'm keeping my voice down because people are still in bed. Um, I've cleaned the car. <laughs> we've had it four months. But one thing and another, weather, work, just general laziness. And um, we've actually cleaned the car. And um, our little car, well, it's not little. Our car is um, very clean, very clean. <laughs> There we go, folks. A clean car. <laughs> it's lovely. Well, as I say, we've had it four months. We love the car, and um, I just thought I'd give it a clean. Right. We're going to go put our wellies on. episode we don't very often dedicate episodes this episode is dedicated to all those frodo feet folk out there in particular jules <laughs> off the marina this, this is for you my friend have you got your have you sandwich got... bag yes i've got my sandwich bag ready. <laughs> i bet you're sat there now jules aren't you with your wonderful partner yeah. val. Val. val give jules a nudge now because jules it's coming oh yeah it's coming goodbye I don't know what's coming. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Val, give her a nudge. Give Jules a nudge. Sorry, I've had to put my sunglasses on because the sun has actually come out. Just a quick one because we've had a couple of questions from a couple of viewers and we don't want to turn the boat channel into a car channel. Questions in terms of what's the Dacia Duster like and what model have we got? Um, it's not a review. <laughs> we love it. Main reason we bought it is because it's quite utilitarian and engine wise it's got a Renault um, diesel block in it and I absolutely love uh, Renault diesel engines. They've got a very, very good reputation. So that's the main reason we bought it. Comfort, practicality, we absolutely Models. love it. Without wanting to sound too up ourselves, all we know is we've bought the top of the range. I don't know what it's called, but it's really, really nice. It's got loads of gadgets and gizmos on it. I mean, I've never been a lover of those on cars or even on motorbikes, so. Right, but we... that when you're going to reverse, your camera comes up and uh, so you can see us behind. 
and when you parked mm. you can press a button you can see your left white line that you parked and then your right yeah. white line to see that you parked yeah. properly also i know why you like that now mrs bonham because i only found out very recently five attempts to pass a car test goodbye driving license driving test five. yeah, yeah. Car. attempts two years and i think it was just over a thousand pound I mean, I'm going back when I was 17, so that's like in 1923. And or if I ever filmed Mrs. Bonneville as a passenger, she is the worst passenger. But Goodbye. Why is this uh, episode dedicated to our friend Jules? Well, for one reason, one reason only. She's a lovely, lovely lady. And I say, so is a partner, Val. So, um, Jules, this one's for you, my love. I'm not going to poke fun at you anymore much. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>Right, now, look, you know how much we love the marina, so we're not criticising, but um, we have to show you this bench. We just have to show you this so bench. So if, you, if you've had a long walk, and you're like, oh, oh, my legs, my legs, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit down there. I suppose you could watch the little birds that were nesting. <laughs> That's what love is. As you can see from that last little shot, spring has sprung here at the marina. <laughs> get, get back down to your normal height. Can you imagine me on the side? <laughs> no. It's tall. No. I'll yes. If you're telling you what to do, you're not. Unlike now. <laughs> Just trying to do a little shot and show you the daffodils, and she has to get in everything, doesn't she? Oh, I don't know. Always bring me pellets out. I just happened to know as well, you know where we had that shot feeding the swan the other day out of my hand? Some geese there, so I'll not feed the geese out of my hand because they're a bit hissy, aren't they? But I should give them some help. We should do a vlog about that essential equipment of being floaters, because we're not boaters. <laughs> I like being called a floater. We're not boaters, we're floaters. Anyway, essential equipment of floaters. You definitely, definitely need bird or duck food. You really lovely, do. Lovely neighbour got us onto that in terms of well not where to get it from but where to get it from in terms of bulk buying anyway oh hey up, hey up. <laughs> hello boys it's us again look it's us again i think i just did you want any of this sorry sweetheart oh i love you then oh i'm sorry there you go look happy sunday happy sunday morning That boat behind me is called the Milford Star and it's a kind of a cafe, narrowboat, run by two wonderful, wonderful people. So if you're ever, ever down on the towpath by uh, Mercy Marina, come treat yourself to a cup of tea, cup of coffee, a slice of cake. It's, oh, it's a lovely day. I've just had a, I've just had a little robin feeding out of me. I'm, I'm getting the dab and it now. We're not going to film it every time because we, we've done that, haven't we? Mm, yeah. We're still, um, I'm still waiting to be from BBC. <laughs> No, I'm just waiting to hear from Country Fair. On the uh, Robin from feeding from your hand, can I just say we didn't get it on camera, but I did it yesterday for the first time and the Robin comes straight to my hand. What does that say about my appearance versus angry Yorkshire woman up there? Those cooling towers are known as the five sisters and uh, we love them splits opinion we absolutely love them we really do all right long uh, and we have arrived in willington nice little village i'm gonna go to the co-op and get us a costa Mrs. Bonneville's going to go and sit in the bus stop just for a few moments to rest. We'll pick back up with you shortly. Now, Mrs. Bonneville, are you sure you're anything other than 
A Costa? No. You don't want a chocolate croissant? No. All right. Very good. Goodbye. There she goes up. Over there is a little bus stop, <laughs> which we sit at. We've got to that time of life now. We just sit at bus stops and eat croissants and drink Costa. Right, and I'm going to go, as I say, over there to the co-op in Willington to get said Costa and a chocolate croissant for myself. So we've had a little cup of coffee. Now we are at Willington Wildlife. Where are we? It's the, um, Willington Gravel Pits. Let me show you. It's 44 hectares and it was formerly a sand and gravel quarry. Uh, owned by Derbyshire Wildlife Trust. There you go. Right, come on, let's go and have a look at Willington Gravel Pit, shall we? Are we going? <sighs> One vlog, all in a day, with the same clothes on. Unbelievable. <laughs> Lots of little places to sit and uh, take your photographs and your binoculars if you're into your wildlife or your birds. This is Bonneville, look, doing a social. There you go, look. Yeah. Let's have a little closer look, shall we? All right then, you're twisting me on. Well, I must say, we are very, very impressed mm. with the uh, nature reserve here. The gravel pit. It's so beautiful. If you come back in your other life as an animal, <laughs> if you come back as a dog or a cat, go and live on Mercy and Marina because mm. it's lovely. It is. If you come back as a bird, come and live here. A bird, yeah. swan, duck, yeah. whatever. Let me just uh, flip around and show you. Here's where we are, look. And then the other way, you'll just see in the distance the five sisters. I think there they are, look. And yeah. Hey, that's dedication for the Instagram shot. Look, don't fall, Mrs. Bonneville. If I do your video, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be YouTube gold. But I don't intend to. I've already gone fly on a rug. That's nice and dainty. <laughs> Half an hour from where we are in the marina. And as I say, if you're into your wildlife, your photography, I'll, oh, tell, you, wow. I'll tell you where it is. We've we've come as if we're going into Repton. Now we've shown you Repton lots of times, so we're not going to bore you with Repton again. But but it's just before we get the bridge in Repton, we sort of turn right, and we've done that walk before, but we've sort of come back on ourselves. Whereas this time we've gone straight down the path and come out at this. Right, we are going to make our way back down the track that we've just walked. So there's no point in showing you that again, and we'll pick back up with you. In a momento, because this is all in one day, this vlog. All in one day vlog. We've never done that before. No, we? we've never done 
Now then, I don't know whether you can see that, YouTubers. <laughs> Let me just leave it there for you. Well, that has tickled Mrs. Bonneville. <laughs> I was reading it and thinking, oh, is that something about newts or something? And then, uh, and it just took me, it just took me a while. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's really funny. We do. We, <laughs> we do love her, don't we? We do love her, bless her. Oh. Right, we're going to have to go sit down because she's got a bad knee. We've ended up back on the towpath at Wellington. Mm -hmm. She's got a bit of a dodgy knee, but she's okay now, aren't you? Mm, my knee just went. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, that's why I say I've got a turn at me. Every she's... now and again it just goes. But she's okay. Yeah, it's fine now. Once I've had a little rest, it's good. Mm -hmm. Probably do a little bit more filming down on the towpath because it's such a lovely day. And I've still got some pellets in my pocket for ducks and whatever I see. Oh, that's what I was saying. That's good to see. Yeah. That's good to see. Bit of custom for uh, Boat Street. I think it's called Boat Street, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Boat Street yeah. Cafe, Milford Star. As I said at the top end of the vlog, if you're passing, pop in. Lovely couple, they really are. And that is us. Back to the marina. Surprise, Mrs. Bonneville's made it. Is <laughs> <laughs> really funny name? Oh, she's had some trouble with her knee today. <laughs> Haven't you, love? <laughs> I'm oh. a bit wonky. She's all right though. Yeah, I'm fine. It don't bother. Hey. It don't bother. Look, look, be funny, me. If you saw it, it's like a turnip. Yeah. You don't want to see Mrs. Bonnell's knee. It's not pretty after a long walk. But she never complains. No. God bless her. Because she's a Yorkshire woman. <laughs> Enough said. filming today has been done. Ask us all, editing is going to be done by me. Pool in it. Don't ask me anymore. Ask this gentleman here, he knows what you're doing. <laughs> We've got a wide beam, haven't we? this wide beam boat down to an another mooring yeah the, 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 why starting, yeah. explain why we're polling it yeah why are we polling it yeah because we can't start the engine right and we just suddenly decided to just move this boat for no, no, no reason no, no, no. no absolutely not we are trainees we're being tutored by our neighbor and our other neighbor here and we've got our next door neighbor with us that's all i know <laughs> and the other thing i know is when you look down here Right down to it is scary how big these things are. Yeah. So the people that actually own this boat are um they're, they're stuck abroad so so they've they've asked our neighbour who, who is sort of like the uh, the oracle of the pontoon if he would mind moving the boat for them because of course we have to move the boat so every so often. Um and but well, we know keys. So uh, so it's all hands on deck if you like. And everybody's going to uh, to muck in with poles and ropes and all sorts of other things and just move the wide beam a little bit further along the pontoon. There you go. It's like being in Venice. Why were we not doing this 30 years ago? I know. <laughs> That's a very big pole you've got there, Mr. B. It's a very big pot. And can I also say, just for the record, I've had a brilliant trainer on the front here. There you go. This young chap here. Yeah. Legend. They're all legends. <laughs> it's like Spider Man on a boat. <laughs> I can't believe that has gone in I like that. I, can't. I and wouldn't. Our been. Yeah. I would have been. No flapping. No I flapping. Know. Well done, Mr. B. Yep. You're my Venetian 
thing. Just the one and the cornetto. <laughs> squat don't we? <laughs> it's really good for your thighs. And down and up and down and up. <laughs> right. the sun's come out. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Love is wiping bird poo off your husband's trousers. Thank you. But I don't it's know so anything wild. about anything. Something to me phone right. Oh dear Lord. Look, I can't I can't zoom in, it tells me I can't zoom in and out while using 64 MP. But I don't know what I've clicked on, I clicked on something. <laughs> this week to, well whenever <laughs> oh, anyway. Goodbye. See you soon.